Hey everyone, I've been having some problems with the RX-8 EV. Um, probably saw in one of my previous videos that I, the contactor stopped working um, and I replaced it. I thought it's because I short-circuited the contactor when I very first got it, being a bit of an idiot. Yes, there was lots of sparks. Yes, it welded my tool. Yes, it burnt my hands. Um, uh, one of the very first EV mistakes that I made and uh, yeah, you don't do that twice. But anyway, the con that contactor failed and I put a new one in here. Um, you probably saw it in a previous video, but this one got stuck on, and um, I couldn't quite figure out why. After only a couple of uses, it was the the even when I took 12 volts away, it still was contacting. So I did a bit of research, and it appears that um, I need to make a recharge circuit, and um, this is because when you first load the uh, your inverter with electricity, the capacitors in there are empty and they're basically look, seen as an open circuit, there's no resistance. So your current can peak at many hundreds of amps just for a, a fraction of a millisecond and it can be overrated for your contactor. And what happens is the, the contact in the contactor shut but welds shut. So even when you remove the, the 12 volts it can't open again and it stays, it stays in an open circuit. So I just want to demonstrate here a pre-charge circuit that I'm going to build, or I've built already, and I'm then going to put in the car. Basically got my uh, power supply outputting 12 volts, simulating the car battery uh, to a switch. I can turn it on and off. And over here I've got a just a 12 volt timing circuit. You can buy these on eBay, relatively cheap, I think this is about a fiver. Um, and what it does is it takes 12 volts in and will wait, it'll time for... Uh, up to 10 seconds and there's a little adjuster here, yeah, see a little gold adjuster there you can adjust how long you want the timer to be for and it will flick a relay and uh, activate 12 volts on its output after that set time so what I'm doing is when the 12 volts comes on or when the car ignition comes on I'm going to activate the pre-charge circuit which would be this contactor which will flow the main voltage through a 50 watt resistor which I'll probably mount on the side of the uh, contactor that's going to pre-charge the circuit for several seconds and um, you'll see the timer in a minute which will then the timer will activate and activate the second contactor which will make the main circuit live so if you can imagine I've got the batteries connected on this side they'll be joined together this side will be where the uh, pre-charge circuit is and this side will be where the main driver for the, for the full full electricity, full full amperage from the batteries to the to the inverter. Basically between this connection and this connection will live this resistor. So the power will flow from here through here to the inverter with the resistance which will pre-charge the voltage so only slightly just gets rid of that initial surge and then the second one will connect. So if I just flick my switch here, I've got my uh, multimeter here just on uh, um, continuity. So when this contact makes, it'll buzz and you'll be able to hear it. So if I flick my switch, we'll basically see primary contact made. My little timer's timing away. That's active. It's hit the second one. And I now have my full circuit in, in flow. So currently, both of these are being driven. Uh, but it doesn't matter because this circuit here, the primary one, which my pre-charge circuit, will be ignored because there's a high resistance in the way. Uh, it will just all the power will flow through here, and uh, your pre-charging done. And fingers crossed that will stop my contactors from uh, being damaged in the future. So I now have it installed in the car. Contactor here. I've got my little gold resistor down here. This test I'm just about to do is simply just to check that the, the twin relays work. I've got the, the back contactor is hardwired straight to 12 volts. So this comes on immediately that the ignition comes on. I've then got my little timer that I demonstrated earlier over here, which after a set amount of seconds activates the second set here. So if I turn the ignition on, I'll eventually get contact. There we go, and uh, live, little blue light saying the second relay is on. I've managed to turn the uh, windscribers on as well, excellent. <laughs> 